Robinson's mission to make Harris the first black quarterback to ever start a season was a success, but not without cost. Selected in the eighth round by the Buffalo Bills, Harris was welcomed to the league by death threats, police harassment, but he'd survive and thrive in 12 NFL seasons, play twice for the NFC title, pave the way. Shaq was gonna be the first black quarterback to really make it big, because he had all the tools. He was six foot four, he was 235 pounds, had a cannon of an arm, what he calls one of these wee arms, you know. Traditionally, the quarterback position was for whites only, until the Bills drafted James Harris. From the start, Harris knew he wouldn't be judged by the same standards as other quarterbacks and would have to be better than the best. Going to Buffalo, I noticed that all of, there were black running backs, bunches and bunches. There were wide receivers, as many as you can count, and defensive backs all you want, but black quarterbacks, zero. I'd be nervous either way, whether I was starting or just dressing and coming out to play. Well, I'm real happy and honored. I just hope I can do good. Harris did so well that he earned the starting assignment by beating out the people's choice veteran Jack Kemp. I'm not bragging about it, but I had a very strong arm. <laughs> Sounds braggadocious, but I, I had a, and he had a stronger arm than I had. He was certainly the first black quarterback in Buffalo. It was not an issue with me, but it was, you know, to be honest, it was, it was new. Harris dealt with the quarterback pressures, but they were magnified by the color of his skin. It was tough trying to play perfect every week and then having to keep winning the job over and over again. Those are kind of tough conditions to, to continue to play on that. Three losing seasons and a coaching change prompted Harris's departure from Buffalo and put his future in doubt. How could you not think it was over when there were no blacks playing quarterback? Harris got another chance to prove himself with the Los Angeles Rams. Despite leading L.A. to three straight NFC Championship games, Harris was still subjected to bigotry and hatred. I was his roommate, and uh, he would always bring some mail in, and always uh, intermix with some of that positive fan mail was probably some of the nastiest fan mail you'd ever want to see. I mean, I couldn't believe people would actually sit down with a pen and address, you know, uh, letters, you know, racial comments, derogatory comments. It was part of the times that we were living in. During that time, when any blacks playing quarterback, and there were some people that didn't think that I was capable or should be playing. Harris persevered. 